Is this a lavender? What type of lavender is? Let's talk about it. Hello guys and I'm glad to see you. So today I want to talk to you about this plant. So this is a lavender. This is Stoica's lavender or Spanish lavender or French lavender. However you want to call it. <laughs> it is beautiful. It's a beautiful plant. The only problem with this plant it is that it's not an angustifolia plant. So what, uh, what that means, it doesn't stand uh, hard frost weather. It can only bear at uh, minus 5 Celsius degrees. So below that, it's gonna die. I had this plant like several years. I grow it in a big container, in a big pot for five years. And I put it somewhere where uh, it wasn't uh, in the winter, it wasn't that harsh for her. So I covered it with a, with a, uh, a protection material, even the pot and even, even the plant, all of it for its protection. And it stood like five years. I managed to grow this five years. But this year I want to try to plant it outside in the garden. We are in zone 6B, so this plant doesn't stand 6B, but I'm going to try to cover it again with some protection and uh, put something beneath it, like here, for, uh, for the roots not to, to freeze. And I'm going to try, is, uh, try this as an experiment to see if it can, if it can grow. If you, if you live in a, in a better climate, like uh, 7B, 8, you don't have to bother about frost because it's going to resist. So in my climate, in 6B, this is an annual plant, but in higher climates, this is uh, a perennial plant, okay? So you can grow it year after year. The main difference between this and the angustifolia plant is firstly, of the flower. Look, you see, the flowers, they are beautiful, yeah. So I call them like bumblebees. These are like bumblebees and they have this beautiful shape with some delicate petals here. The, yeah, they, they are beautiful, I like it. But their fragrance is not like the angustifolia type of plant, okay? So, uh, how to take care of it? Well, it's, uh, it's not a big difference between this type of lavender and the angustifolia lavender. First of all, good drainage and a big pot. You will have to have a big pot or if you plant it directly in the ground, just dig up that soil if you if you have a damp soil or if uh, if the soil ha that hasn't a good drainage just get out uh, dig that out dig that soil out mix it with some sand mix it with some compost and then put the pot inside give it a good water and then just let it be so we are in spring now in spring is the best time to plant your lavender okay so drainage okay drainage after that just let it bloom enjoy it and after it blooms, you will see the blooms, the flowers will start to uh, get brown, gray. It, will, it wouldn't have uh, a beautiful look. So what I'll have to do, trim it exactly like the lavender. The difference between uh, Angustifolia lavender and this one is the green foliage is even here, down, and even after you cut it. The Angustifolia plant or the X intermedia, the hybrids, they will get woody down here. And, if you don't prune it, even leggy. That's a different clip, okay? So, just prune it after it flowers, prune it and let it be. And if you want it, you can just give it a little prune in the fall between, between like a month between the frost of your first frost day. You'll have to check that out on the internet uh, on, your, uh, on your zone. Mine, I think, is in uh, November the first, my frost date and I mean 6B. Okay, so after that, just leave it there, don't do anything to it, and wait for the spring, okay? So in the spring, it will just bloom again, and just repeat the same over and over, uh, the same process. As disease and pests, I didn't saw any pests on the lavender, uh, on this type of lavender. I have pests on the angustifolia, but we'll talk about that in a, in a different clip, okay? So, uh, I haven't seen any pests, but disease is the problem with the lavender, all types of lavender, it's the root, uh, the problem with the roots. If it's too damp or, or if it's too wet, your lavender will die like that. Like today it's okay, in two or three days you will see it, all of it, like 
dead, bad. <laughs> so this is the main problem with the lavender, okay? Moist, uh, a lot of watering. Uh, so if, you do, if you imagine, most of the plants in the world die because of too much watering than lacking of watering, okay? So, uh, okay, what about light? You will have to put this in a sunny spot. If it's in the ground, just put it somewhere where it had, uh, where it's going to have all day sun, full sun if you have it. If you grow it in a pot, try it to, to keep it out of the uh, middle of the day sun, because that's a scorching sun, okay? That's, uh, it's going to be very hot for the plant, especially in a pot. There's a difference between growing each type of lavender in the soil or in the pot. If you grow it in a pot, I recommend you, not all day full sun, because the lavender, the roots will go hot there. So you, you water it once two, uh, once two or three days, and the, and the roots will get moist, and then in the middle of the day, it's going to be like very hot, and the roots, we, they are going to cook inside the pot, okay? So it's simple. If you wanna grow it in a pot, half a day sun, if you grow it in the ground, all day sun, okay? Perfect. So uh, that's about it, about this uh, lavender, this Spanish lavender. If you have questions, post them in the comment section. If you have advices, please post them over there. Maybe I will learn something, who knows? Okay, if you like the clip, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next clip. Stay safe, have plants. Bye.